Breaking developments on the Sabine Park apartment saga in Orange. After weeks without water, the city of Orange has tagged several apartment units as uninhabitable. We know because we found these notices posted on doors this afternoon. This comes one day after 12 News met with the city's director of planning and community development. Well, tonight, these renters feel like they have run out of patience. And excuse my French, but I'm mad as, as Hades and I don't know what to do about it. And I ain't going to take this anymore. Someone's going to help us. 12 News has stayed on the story all week, making dozens of phone calls and fighting to get help for these renters. As you can hear, they are desperate. Sure are. So far, this is the only response from Trinity Multifamily. That's the apartment management company. They told us, quote, the repairs needed are quite extensive due to the age of the property, as well as the freeze that happened a few weeks ago. We've received bids and the owners of the property, Sabine Portfolio LLC, are reviewing them and making plans to get the work completed. 12 News reporter Cameron Seibert took that statement directly to runners today. Guys, that's right. Another day here at Sabine Park Apartments hearing nightmare stories from residents here going on nearly a month without running water. They say still hardly any communication from management. The animals in the zoo live better than this. The nightmare continues for Orange residents living at Sabine Park Apartments. We've been dealing with this for a month now and we're living like animals, basically. A sink full of dishes and no place to bathe. Regina Stewart and her family are desperate. I'm at a loss as to what to do. I mean, I, I'm about to start. I don't know how to start a GoFundMe page for help. But I, I'd like to try to see if somehow, some way, a, a GoFundMe page could be started to help us out here. Residents tell us the property manager packed up and quit. We tried again today. Nobody was inside. Friday, we found several apartments marked uninhabitable, inspected just yesterday by the city of Orange. Those units and others around the complex have water and sewage flowing from underneath into the street. I don't know what's going on, but it's very hard. For Christmas, for New Year's, we missed all them holidays with no water. Marticia Thomas only moved in three months ago. Does it seem fair that you'd have to pay your rent this month, that you, considering you haven't had water? I didn't pay it, and good thing I didn't pay it because she gone. And I'm still with no water, so that'd have been, if I need that $720, that'd have been something I just lost. Orange Planning and Community Development is looking into the complex for more than just busted pipes. They sent management a letter. That letter will state what the violations are, you know, and uh, then the popular will need to contact us. It's now week four of life with no water for nearly 20 apartment units. It makes me angry. We've been dealing with this for a month now and we're living like animals, basically. Residents have run out of patience. The American Red Cross will be here tomorrow dropping off water and supplies around 11 in the morning. Meanwhile, we've reached out to management once again asking for a timeline on the repairs and whether or not residents are expected to pay their rent this month. We have not heard back. Reporting in Orange, Cameron Seibert, 12 News.